all my movers. I see y'all tonight checking in early. So y'all know how I am. I'm definitely on some movers, support movers. And Monday night motivation is usually a time where y'all come and you get that, that motivation from Sean Prez. But what I wanted to do was try something a little different tonight. And it's always been, you know, part of the greater plan because I do believe in this community. I do believe in us supporting us. Movers supporting movers. So tonight, the motivation is not going to be coming from Sean Prez. It's going to be coming from somebody who I look up to. Somebody who, this is a mover who I look at. And I get inspiration and motivation from him. So I called him up like, look, I'm building this community and I need you to really come and and, and bring your talents to the power move maker Monday night motivation. And he said, you know what, Sean, I'm coming down there and I'm going to do it for you. So straight from Miami, no, straight from Lauderdale, straight from Florida, I want to bring into this conversation my man Jose Inspires. And Jose going to get busy and, you know, he, this, this man, he does what he does on a high level. So I'm so happy to have him on this week. And, and we just going to get our motivation from him. So hold up. Let me get my man Jose Flores in here. I'm going to let him take the mic. But I've been looking forward to this since, since he agreed about a week and a half ago. Jose, what up? What's going on, man? How's it going? It's going good, brother. It's going good. Welcome to that Monday Night Motivation. Now, I'm going to keep it so real with you, Jose. Like like I said, I'm all about moving, support, moving. But you support and show prayers in this power move making community in a big way. So we thank you so much for taking your time and, 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 and allowing your gifts allowing what you do so very well to be shared with this community. So, you know, the, the, the mic is yours, brother. Yo, man, first of all, I just want to say, I just want to say thank you so much for uh, for making the phone call, man, and asking me to come through and show love to you and your community. Uh, I, I definitely love what you're doing. I love how you are, uh, you know, you, you're, you're putting yourself out there, man, and you're getting more vulnerable and you're getting more transparent and authentic with people. And I think that that's what a lot of people are, uh, are, are, are yearning for. That's what a lot of people need. And that's, what, that's what's missing in the industry, in all industries, is that, that fluff-free talk, right? That real talk. And I know you're always talking about talk that talk, because they talk that talk. <laughs> so, you know, for, for, you, for all you guys that are watching out there, that are tuning in, you know, go ahead and tag your friends. Uh, tag your peers, tag your network, tell them to tune into this because it's definitely going to be a night that's going to be on fire. And um, I want to make sure that you can tell Lottie Dottie and everybody to get on here real quick. Tell them to get in here right quick. <laughs> talk that talk, Jose! <laughs> <laughs> but listen, man, I just wanted to share with you guys, you know, I don't know uh, if any of you already know me or, or seen me on Sean's uh, platform before, but um. You know, I'm in a wheelchair due to a condition that I was born with called spinal muscular atrophy. And basically what that does is the older I get, the weaker my muscles get. And I, I went through life with, a, with, a, with this thing was all screwed up because of my condition. Obviously, I was born like Sean was in the Bronx, New York. So growing up in that environment is already, we already know that's not easy. And then, you know, being born uh, with a condition, a physical condition uh, is, is pretty difficult as well. Now, I didn't, this condition, uh, you know, the doctor said that by the age of 15, I'd end up in a wheelchair. They weren't even expecting me to live past my teenage years. But I didn't end up in a wheelchair until I moved from New York to Florida when I was 22 years old. And so you can imagine 22, that's like when life is about to start for you and you're going to start to take advantage of life and all these opportunities. And then this, this thing kicks in and I'm like, oh, man, what am I going to do now? And uh, I was in a dark place, brother. I was in a dark place. I didn't know what I was going to do. Um, I didn't think I was going to do anything great in life. I didn't think I was going to aspire to do anything. And uh, as my body was giving up on me, man, I was giving up on my goals and my dreams as well. And so it was a tough time for me. But I'm telling you guys, all it takes is this much, this much of a shift in your mindset. Sometimes you think, some people say like, oh, you got to change how you're thinking. You got to change what you're doing. 
And it sounds like, because when we think about it, we think like we got to make this major adjustment. We have to make this major shift. And, so, and most of the time, it's about this much. It's about this much. It's not much. And the only reason I've been able to become successful in what I'm doing, in spite of everything that I've had to go through, was because I made a shift about this big. And I stopped focusing on all the things that I couldn't do, right? I don't have the money. I don't have the connections. I don't have the physical strength. I don't have the network. I don't have this and I don't have that. That's that toxic talk. That's that stinking thinking, right? So once I stopped doing that and started focusing on what I can do, right? I can still use my voice. I have a powerful voice. I still have a sound mind. I'm intelligent. I'm educated. I'm well-read. I'm a number one best-selling author today. When I was in school, I didn't even like reading, let alone writing. And today I'm a number one bestseller. I've written three books. And so I'm not saying that to impress you, but I'm saying, to let, saying that to let you know that you just have to make an adjustment about this big and your whole life can change. Your whole life can change and put you on another level. That's why I love people like Sean and what he's doing because all he's doing is giving about this much energy and this much of his time on a Monday night and a Wednesday night for you guys, to impact you guys, to inspire you guys, and to bring people like me in that can take, give you a different perspective, right? Because Sean has a perspective, I have a, a perspective, and you, those of you that are watching have a perspective. But if we can learn how to look at other people's perspectives, that just puts us on, a, on another level because now we have an advantage over everybody else who only has that one type of perspective. You see what I'm saying? So now you have multiple pers perspectives that you can function with or that you can understand, and that's going to allow you to connect and network with other people that you may not have been able to think how they think, but now you've been exposed to a different perspective, so now you kind of understand, and now you can be exposed to those people, and you can carry a conversation and build a relationship with those people. And that is what has allowed me to get to where I am. I'm a relationship builder. I connect with people. I'm from the Bronx, so you know I got the gift of gab, baby. <laughs> and I talk that talk, but I keep it 100% real. I don't hide anything. I'm an open book. I've been through so much in my life. I'm not embarrassed by anything. Nothing embarrasses me because everything that I used to be embarrassed about, I'm not embarrassed about anymore. I used to be embarrassed because my body was underdeveloped. So then I got married and I was eating my wife's good cooking and now my body looks normal. So I'm, I'm good. You, feel <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just joking with you. But the reality is, is that I had to get comfortable being uncomfortable. And that is what's, that's a key to success right there. You have to be willing to get comfortable being uncomfortable. So I'm not paralyzed. I can still feel everything. I can still move everything. But I'm in a wheelchair. So I'm in a sit down position all day long. Thank God I got a special wheelchair that can, you know, elevate my feet and it can tilt back and recline and, you know, help with my circulation. But at the end of the day, there's times where my ankle, right now it's already 7 p.m. I've been up since six o'clock this morning. My ankles are swollen. <laughs> my ankles are swollen. But you know what? If I focused on my ankles being swollen, I wouldn't get nothing done. So I push through the pain because I know that my purpose is more bigger than my pain, right? So I push through my pain. I know what my purpose is. I'm not on this live right now just as a coincidence. This was a strategic move. It was pre-planned and it was predestined. I'm here for a reason and, and I'm here on purpose and for a purpose. And there's somebody that's watching right now that this that what I'm saying is resonating with. Now my message may not resonate with everybody that's on this call, but I know that there's a one or two people that this message is for, and those are the people that I want to speak to. Because you are the ones that need to hear that your, your condition is not your final conclusion. I'm going to say that one more time for you. Your condition is not your final conclusion. Your circumstance, your situation is not your final conclusion. If I would have settled for this condition, and I would have settled for my body getting weaker, and I would have settled for the type of mindset that I have, I wouldn't be here with you right now, spending some time with you. I wouldn't even know Sean. You know why? Because I'd still be hiding in my shell, afraid of the world and what the world was going to think about me. But I said, you know what? 
I'm going to use my gifts that God gave me. I'm going to use my talents. I'm going to use my abilities and I'm going to maximize them. And I'm going to, I'm going to pour out myself as much as I can to as many people as I can before I leave this planet. That's my goal. My goal is to inspire at least 1 billion people. Now, it, whether that happens or not, I'm going to still keep trucking. My movement is forward movement. I'm always moving forward. But that's my goal, right? That's my goal is to inspire 1 billion people. So when I die, I want people to remember Jose was a lot of things. But one thing he never was, was a quitter. Jose was a lot of things, but he never quit. He always kept on going. And for me to see that brother in a wheelchair and see a smile on his face and keep pushing, that inspires me. And that's going to make me move forward and keep doing what, what, what I've been called to do in life, like what you've been called to do in life. Like my calling is to inspire, impact, empower, and motivate people. Your calling may be different, but if I can help you and you can help me, how much more of an impact are we going to make, right? That's what me and Sean are doing right now. Sean got his own impact and his own sphere of influence and his own network and his own gifts and his own abilities. But he partners with me and partners with you and everybody else that he's connected with. Now you see the impact. And now it's not only Sean's impact. He's partnering with me. We combine our impact and boom, that's a greater impact. So if you can have that type of mindset, right, of multiplication, how many people can you partner with? How many relationships can you build? How many people's lives can you touch? Because I'm not going to be able to touch the lives that you can touch. Just like you're not going to be able to touch the lives that I can touch. But if we can do it together and keep on touching lives, the numbers increase, right? The impact increases. The success increases. Sean wants to see you guys win. I want to see you guys win. Me and Sean put our gifts together, and it's a win-win situation. You guys partner with us and you come along with us and we stand together and it's winning all around. Sean only moves right with what? People who make power moves, power move makers, right? Same thing with me. You're, you're, they say that you're the sum total of the five people that you hang out with. So if you're hanging out with nine broke people, guess what number you're going to be? Right? But if you're hanging out with five millionaires and billionaires and you're not there yet, guess where you're headed? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Life is not that difficult, family. It's basically very simple. We make it difficult. But you gotta, you gotta, it, it all starts here. It all starts in the mind. You got to get your mind right before you can get anything else right. And you got to believe in yourself. You got to get your self-talk right. You got to get the story that you've been telling yourself right. And if changes and adjustments need to be made, then make them. <laughs> we can't control a lot of things in life, but we can control what we think, what we speak, and what we believe. You can control that. So if you don't like what you're seeing, change it. I didn't like what I was seeing. I didn't like being down and out. I didn't like only getting a disability check for $800 a month. A month. Now I make $800 every 30 minutes. $800 a month to $800 every 30 minutes because I speak for large corporations and I do Zoom calls and I do coaching and I have online courses and my books and all of these other different things, multiple streams of income, right? And so if you want to get to that level, you have to put in the work, but it all, again, it starts from here. If you believe that you can't make that money, then you won't. If you believe that you can't build that relationship, then you won't have it. But if you believe you can, then you will, because your subconscious mind is always listening to everything that's going on. It's like a sponge. So at the right time, at the right moment, when that thought that you used to think or that belief system that you have needs to come forward, your subconscious mind is going to bring that to the forefront. At that point, it's up to you to execute. Are you going to build that relationship? Are you going to approach this person? Are you going to ask for what you want? That's another big key to success. You got to ask for what you want. Some people are afraid to ask because they're afraid of rejection. They have fear. They're not going to get accepted. They're not going to get approved. So what? There's 7 billion people on this planet. If, some, if a few people tell you no, you got billions of other people out there that's ready to say yes to you. You got billions of other people that's ready to say yes. So the point is, is that at this point in the game, 
You got to, it, it all boils down to you making a choice. Right now, this very moment, those of you that are watching, you have a choice that's being presented to you. Are you satisfied with where you are right now? If you are, great. If you're not, then you got to make a change. You got to change this and you got to change your, what's coming out of your mouth. And you got to change what you believe. When I was younger, growing up in the Bronx, I didn't have no coaches or mentors. I didn't know nobody who was a millionaire. I didn't know nobody who was making six figures. There was all basic workers in my neighborhood. I lived on, on Lafayette and Rosedale, surrounded by projects. There's some people that still stuck over there. But I chose, I made a choice and I made a decision. I said, I'm not gonna let this wheelchair defeat me. I'm not gonna let this wheelchair define me. And I'm not gonna let this wheelchair dictate my destiny. And I took control. So I want you to fill in those same blanks. Whatever your situation is. See, mine is a physical wheelchair. But I notice people watching this, that they have a mental wheelchair. They're stuck in their heads. They're paralyzed in their heads. They're paralyzed in their thoughts. They're paralyzed with what they speak. They can't even speak a positive word. And so if you want to make a change, I want you to fill in the blanks. I won't let this blank defeat me. I won't let this blank define me. And I won't let this blank dictate my destiny. And when you fill in the blanks, I want you to write that down and print it out. Or write it down and stick it somewhere so that you can constantly say that. Because the more you repeat that, the more you're going to believe it. See, a lot of times we've gotten programmed to believe what's been spoken over us, right? You're never going to amount to anything. You're never going to make it. You're no good. You're stupid. You're dumb. You're not smart. You're not worthy. You're useless, right? That was other people. And sometimes we say that to ourselves. But again, you have the power to control what you say and what you think. So if you start to reverse that, if you start to reverse the curse and start to say positive affirmations over your life and, 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 and positive things and, and start to write down your goals and your dreams and your ambitions, and you constantly repeat those things, you'll start to believe it. You'll start to believe in yourself. <laughs> you know those people, right, that they're always lying and then they believe their lies? It's because they believe what they've been saying. It's crazy, but that's how the mind works. So if you're repeating constantly positive stuff to yourself and successful stuff to yourself and you're writing it down and you're executing, right? It's not only about saying it and thinking it and writing it down, but you have to execute on that stuff. You got to be able to execute on what you're saying, what you're thinking and what you're believing. Because people, right? You can't just talk the talk. You got to walk the walk, right? So people are going to look at how you're walking more than what you're talking. So if you want people to believe in what you're saying, you have to believe in what you're saying. And you have to act accordingly. So that means that you're going to have to execute on what it is that you want to see happen in your life. If you want to be successful, start doing successful things. Start getting around successful people. Start thinking successful thoughts. Start reading successful books. You can start with mine. That's a shameless plug right there. <laughs> but you get the point, though, what I'm saying, right? You got to surround yourself with this type of stuff. This type of stuff isn't just going to come into your neighborhood. It's not just going to show up at your front door and come into your house. This is the type of stuff that you got to go after. You got to seek it. You got to hunt for it. Right? They say that you only eat what you kill. You only eat what you kill. So what have you been killing lately? What have you been killing lately? What have you been eating lately? Right? Have you been eating negativity? Have you been eating you know, the wrong influencers and influences being around you? Right? Have you been consumed with that stuff? But again, you have the power to change all of that. And tonight, mark today's day. What's today, the 21st? 22nd. 22nd. Today's March the 22nd. Write this day down because this is the day. Today is the day that your life is going to change forever because you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. Just like I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. And again, maybe this isn't, uh, you know, maybe this doesn't resonate with you, but if it resonates with you, I want to congratulate you and I want to commend you because today your brand new life begins. So I just want to thank you, Sean. I don't know how much time I had but um, I just want to thank you. If you want me to keep going, we can keep going. Or if you want to ask questions, or if you're watching and you want to ask some questions, go ahead. And I see So G said, I'm copying the book. I appreciate you, my brother. You can check it out on my website, joseinspires.com. 
and I'll go ahead and send you a signed copy, my brother. I appreciate the love. Thank you so much. But yeah, Sean, I'll turn it over back to you, man. If you have any questions or any final thoughts, man, or if you want me to keep flowing, we go ahead and rock and roll, baby. I'm here for you. Nah, you know, I, I, I typically keep Mondays short purposefully. Um, you know, they even at talking, and I, and I think somebody wrote something in the bottom. So I don't know if you guys, if you guys have any questions for Jose, please go ahead and ask him. He'll stay as long as you need. But for me, I'm sitting over there, and it's crazy because usually on Monday nights it's me doing it out. And I'm sitting over here like, like I'm ready to go. I'm so charged up right now. And I'm smiling because you're hitting so many dope points. But you, you know, a lot of people can talk, right? A lot of people can talk. We all come from the street. We all come from environments. And, and forget the streets. Social media will have you believe anything about anybody. The way people carefully craft their image and craft what it is that or what they want the world to see. But truth of the matter is, you live in a wheelchair 24 hours a day. There ain't no faking it. There, there's, there's no way that you can disguise your reaction. So the fact that you're even in this position and you're pouring into us and you're coming and I speak to you online and I'm always telling you how happy you are. I always got that positive energy. You are not talking that talk. You walk in that walk for real. And, and, you know, before I turn it back over to you, this thing is clearly a choice. Like I said, you can choose. You, Jose Flores, could have chosen. Life dealt me a bad end. But in the words of my man, Inky Johnson, he said, play the hand you dealt like it's the hand you always wanted. And I'm watching you play that hand like you got the dope hand in the deck. It's the hand you always wanted. And I love you for, for, for really just coming on here and doing what you do and sharing your gift with this community. Real talk. Yeah, man. And that's what it all boils down to, brother. It boils down to playing the hands that, that you were dealt. And I talk about that often in my speeches as well, that I, I wasn't dealt the best, the best of hands, right? But... I still play to win, right? I play the hands to win. And uh, and I'm going to continue to play the hand till I win. And a lot of, that's why I have my, my, my podcast, I won't stop until I win, right? And, and some people will look at me sometimes and be like, man, Jose, you winning already. And I'm like, I, I, I may be in your eyes, but man, there's still much more, many more lives to win over, man. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to, I'm not going to stop winning until I take my last breath, man. Because even in my hospital bed or wherever I am, and I'm going to be inspiring the nurses, the people around me, the doctors. I mean, you can't really be in my presence for more than five minutes and not be inspired. Uh, somebody said here, Jose, how did you prepare yourself for success? I, I didn't prepare myself. And you know what? To be honest, you'll never be prepared for success. Unless you're born into wealth, you're never prepared for it because things are constantly changing. You know, uh, workflows change, cash flow changes, energy changes, situations change. So you're never really prepared. But as you as you grow, you go. And as you go, you grow. You learn as you go, right? And so I'm a student of life. I'm constantly learning. I'm constantly reading. I'm constantly connecting with people like Sean. And we pick each other's brains and we ask each other questions because I always want to learn. And so as you learn, the success is in the, in the preparation of learning, right? You have to learn, and as you learn and grow, you're preparing yourself for greater things that are yet to come. And then when those greater things come, those greater things come, you've reached the level of success, but there's always more out there. So you're always constantly going after the next successful thing. I asked one of my mentors one time, I was like, man, how, does, how do you feel when, when, you know, when you have this goal and you and you've and you've reached a certain level, but you kind of feel like you plateaued. And he was like, "Man, there's always another goal. There's always another level. There's always more." And you know, the problem is, is that many of us grow up in a scarcity mentality. Like, there's not enough, right? Like, close the refrigerator. You're you're wasting electricity. Turn the lights off. Close the door. You're wasting air, right? The AC is on. Close the door, right? We've heard those type. That's that scarcity talk. Like, there's not enough. 
or we can't afford it. And, and that's how we're programmed. We're programmed to think that so we become adults and we function in those same, in those same programmings. But I'm here to tell you that you gotta, you gotta change the program. You gotta reboot the, mind, the, the, the mainframe. You gotta, you gotta delete all the viruses, right? All that negative programming that we've been programmed and you gotta reboot the mainframe. And the way that happens is by you learning more, going out there and reading. If you don't like reading, then listen to audio books. Sean has a podcast that he does. Listen to that, listen to my podcast, listen to other people's podcasts. And if you're not a reader and you're not a listener and you're visual, then join on every live that you can. Watch YouTube videos and learn by, 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 you know, by visual learning. There's always a method, man. Now, to, in today's day with Google and YouTube and all these different resources, there's no excuse, right? There's no excuse why we can't all be successful and, 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 and be where we want to be in life. Nah, you're absolutely right, man. It, honestly, it is, it is more possible now than it ever has been in the history of man to be successful, to become the person that you see yourself like in your head, in your dream, in your quiet place, to become that person that you see when there's nobody else around, it's, it's more attainable now. It's more possible now than it ever has been. But I'm going to tell you something that you said earlier, Jose, because it really does start with belief, man. I don't care how many outlets um, are, are, are available to people today, you know, how much motivation, how much uh, people can see examples, real life examples. You know, once upon a time when I was coming up, you was coming up, we didn't have real life examples of people who looked like us, our age, who wasn't corny, who didn't look like they had 10 degrees from Harvard on the wall. And, and these people were extremely successful nonetheless. Well, now we can look to the right and to the left. And it's people who look like us, act like us, speak broken English. And these people have figured it out. But before they did anything worth talking about, they believed. And, you know, I got to put this out there to our community. I don't care how much you dream about it. I don't care how many resources are out there. I don't care how much people like Jose pour into you. If you don't believe, if you don't believe, if when those lights go out and it is you, the four walls in the dark, and you don't believe that you can do it, trust me when I tell you, it won't get done. So it starts with belief, brother. And, and, and I love the fact that you hit on that point so tonight yeah man absolutely man you know uh i think it's uh in the book i uh think and grow rich if i'm not mistaken uh napoleon hill said in order for you to uh, to achieve it and conceive it you have to believe it is this real so again it all goes back to the belief system yeah and it all starts in the here everything starts and ends right here you ever thought you ever talk yourself into something and then literally seconds later talk yourself right back out of it and it all happened in here? Nobody knew what you was thinking, nobody knew what was going on, but you thought you was like, Oh, I'm gonna go holler at that girl real quick. I'm gonna go get that number. And then fear kicked in and you was like, nah, forget it. I ain't gonna do it. That all happened right in here, right? You talk yourself into something and then right back out of something. Yeah, so but, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, I was gonna say, so the power is in the believing. Because once you believe in yourself, and listen. I didn't always have the level of confidence that I had right that I have right now. Trust me, I didn't have the confidence because I was afraid about people looking at me and judging me and rejecting me and ridiculing me because my body wasn't growing the way it should have been growing, right? And so I was afraid about going out into the streets. Like I would literally lie to my friends sometimes and tell them that I wasn't feeling well, my stomach was hurting or my leg was hurting. Just to, so I didn't have to go out with them to different parties and gatherings and things like that. So I felt like I missed out so much on life because I was a, I was afraid I was afraid I was ashamed and I was embarrassed of my condition, and I missed out on so much of my life. 
And, and it got to the point where I said, no more. I don't care what anybody says anymore. I don't care what anybody thinks about me. I'm going to live my life to the fullest. And when I made that decision, Sean, my life has never been the same again. And I'm so glad that I made that decision because it was in making that decision that I built up the courageousness and the boldness to ask my wife out to be my Valentine. She met me in a wheelchair and fell in love with me in a wheelchair. And, you know, I like to think it's because she liked that Bronx swag, right? She told me, she was like, oh, <laughs> when she met me, I, I had that thug look, you know, but I had to switch it up. And now, you know, now I, I got to look business when I go out. But she loved it. She loved that. She loved my attitude. She loved my personality. But that was because that was the real me. That wasn't the me that was trying to hide from the world. And she fell in love with that. And this year, we're celebrating 14 years of marriage. We've been together for 21 years. We have two amazing sons together. My son was just here. He's in college. He just came by with one of his boys. And when I talk about dreams coming true, guys, that was my main dream. I wasn't worried about having the big house and the nice cars because for me, I wasn't, I wasn't capable of getting those things because of my condition. So I was like, my main dream was wondering if a woman was ever going to love me for me and love me like this, right? Because I felt like damaged goods. And I was wondering if I was going to have children or own a home or drive a car and, or, run a, or, or work a job. But today I own my own company. I work it full time. I have my own car. Sean, Sean saw the whip that I just bought. I drive it with a joystick with hand controls. My wife is a dime piece. My kids are amazing. We own our own house. We own two properties. I mean, that didn't that would have wouldn't have happened if I didn't make this small adjustment here. I'd have still been, you know, what I mean, out of gas, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's, it, it's dope that you say this, and I and I and I want to highlight something, guys. That belief it goes both ways. You could believe. That 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 you can do it, but what you put on the other end of I am, when you look in the mirror and, and you say I am great or I am scared, I am a failure. What, it, what comes on the other end of that I am, that belief goes both ways. Your mind, your subconscious don't know the difference. So whatever you telling yourself, that is exactly what the world's gonna give you. And I love the fact that you talked about making this much of a shift in your mind state. And it changed your whole world around. Because what was on the, 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 the end of I am for you before, you said, I don't care what nobody else thinks. When you change it around, everything in the world opened up for you. So movers, I guess we are ended here. You know, I, I, I love movers, support movers. Jose, thank you so much for always supporting me, always being right there on the other end of that call, encouraging me and guiding me through this whole motivational speaking world, which is new to me. And, and you have been a, 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 a constant. You have been a, a brother who, when I call, that phone picks up. And if you don't pick up, you hit me right back. I just want to tell you from the bottom of my heart, you know, I'm a person who, who is very, very real, and, I'm, and, and, and I try my best to give to this community. And what you have given me is invaluable. So thank you so much. Thank you for what you've done to me personally, and thank you for what you've done to this community tonight. No, it's my pleasure, man. The feeling is definitely mutual, brother. And like you said, man, I'm only a phone call away, brother. Whenever you need anything, you ever down in Fort Lauderdale or Miami area, you already know, man. I'm, I'm here anytime, brother. All right. Movers, again. Oh, Jose, where can everybody find you before we let you go? Where can they pick up your book? Where can they listen to your podcast? All that good stuff. Oh, yeah, man, absolutely. Uh, and, you know, I forgot about that as well. You know, when you're having good conversation, I didn't come on here for all of that. You know what I mean? I, I didn't come on here for that. But I appreciate it, but it's more so of me adding as much value as I can. So I thank you for bringing that up because I forgot about it because it's not about that. But you can check me out at Jose, uh, any social media at Jose Inspires and my website, joseinspires.com for your signed 
a copy of my number one best-selling book, number one best-selling book, not just best-selling, number one. It's called Don't Let Your Struggle Become Your Standard. And we didn't even talk about this. Like one of my mentors, the great Les Brown, that you know, Sean, but I don't know if you guys are watching. That's my personal mentor. He wrote the forward to my book. He's one of the greatest of all times to do it in the motivational personal development game. So Les, I was on tour with Les three years ago. He's my mentor. He's my spiritual pops. And, and again, being around greatness and making yourself available to greatness and opportunity. Listen, there's opportunities around us everywhere. You got to make yourself available to them because if you're not available, guess what happens? It'll skip you and go to the next person. So you don't ever want to miss an opportunity, but you have to make yourself available for it. Um, so with that being said, at Jose Inspires on any social media platform, and you can check my book out and any of my courses. I have digital courses, book writing, master classes, all that type of stuff um, on my website, joseinspires.com. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And until next time, take care and God bless. Love you, Sean. Love you, my brother. Thank you so much, Jose. I'll hit you a little later. All right, my brother. Take care. Okay, guys. Y'all know how we do. Movers support movers. Um, Wednesday, we are going to be, again, both places, Instagram as well as um, Clubhouse, having deep conversation, business conversation. So come with your questions. Come prepared to join the conversation. You can catch me on Clubhouse, Sean Prez at Power Move Makers. Sean Prez at Power Move Makers on Clubhouse. Warrior Wednesdays, y'all know how we do, 7 p.m. Wednesday night. And um, I guess I'll just take it from there. Shout to all the people I saw jumping in and out of the conversation. My man, um, Dakota, always a, a, a supporter. I appreciate you, kid. Glad you're doing better. Um, my man, Will Mullen from back in the days. Ashley, just thanks to the whole crew movers community and i hope y'all got something special out of tonight go follow my man at jose inspires and i'll see y'all wednesday night one love y'all peace